guys, it's me Erica. And so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these cute eggs inspired by Shugu Charo. And Shugu Charo is an anime that I watched back when I was in middle school. And if you haven't watched it, it's just basically a magical girl anime. And they use these eggs to transform with also the characters help them transform to their true selves. And it's a really fun anime and it, I really loved it when I was in middle school because the characters were the same age. And I thought this would be a cool idea if you want to spice up a way you, you could give like small presents to your friends such as like putting candy in it or if you don't want to do that, make it into ornaments to put on your tree because they're very very cute. And with that, let us get started. So the supplies you will need are Easter eggs. I know they're pretty hard to find because it's December but if you have any laying around from Easter, those will be fine. If not, Amazon is a good choice. Acrylic paint, paintbrush, some painter's tape, and a mattifying spray or a mattifying paint. So first start off, here are the eggs that I had. I just bought them from Daiso because I had a Daiso and they were still selling them for some reason. And I recommend using a mattifying spray or paint before you go ahead and use acrylic paint to paint over them just because generally Easter eggs are plasticky so the paint will either chip off or not even go on if you directly put it. So I ended up spraying a white spray paint that was mattifying so it'd be easier to do. So the eggs that I'll be making in this video are Run, Mickey, Sue, and Daya's egg which are all Amu's eggs, Ikuto's egg of Yoru, um, the heart's egg that everyone is born with when they're a kid and the X egg which is the kind of evil egg of the series. So first we're gonna start off with the easiest eggs to make which is the heart egg and the X egg. So with the heart egg since I already had painted the egg white I just used some gold paint to make the heart in the middle and also the wing. And I traced it out a little with a pencil but you can also freehand this if you're very good at it and very confident. And then after that is finished, go ahead and fill in the heart and then you're finished with the heart egg. And then moving on to the X egg. The X egg is also pretty easy. I just use some black paint to cover it all up and then use some white paint to draw an X. And I didn't have to use a pencil for this one because making an X is easy. And with painting eggs, I found it easy to use painter's tape to kind of help you stand the egg up and help it dry so you can do it at all the same time instead of working in sections uh, of painting different like sides of the egg. So first starting off with Ron's egg after that, uh, Ron is actually a pink uh, colored character so the egg is actually pink and she represents the hearts so I colored the whole thing pink and then did a black stripe and then after that black stripe was finished then went ahead and freehanded the hearts. These eggs are actually plaid colored, but when I tried to do plaid color, it didn't work out. So I kind of just shadowed it uh, a little bit uh, when I the first coat of pink was finished. I added a darker pink and then just kind of blended that together to make the pink that I ended up with this video. For Mickey's egg, she is the blue spade. So I did the same thing with Ron's egg and just painted the egg blue, made a black stripe, and then painted on some spades. And spades are not my... <laughs> best shape to draw so I had a difficult time with this egg. Same thing goes for Sue's egg. For Sue's egg I just painted it green with a black stripe and then after the black stripe is finished paint on green clovers. For Daya's egg, 
I just painted it a yellowish orange uh, egg and then used the black stripe and then also used diamonds or made diamonds on the egg. So now moving on to the more intricate egg of this video, which is Yoru's egg, who is the Chara of Ikuto and I don't know, if you've watched Chugachara, I'm pretty sure Ikuto was like the first crush and I know he was my first crush, but besides the point, uh, with his egg, I decided to freehand the black stripes as opposed to like just painting it all black and then repainting the white just because it's a lot easier. <laughs> and for the black, I just did mountain shapes to make like the edges. And then if I like messed up on it, then I would just use white paint to clean up my edges later on. Um, and then for the symbols in this egg, it's actually cats because that's Ikuto's character. Um, I just did first a black dot using the end of a brush or you can use a toothpick too or if you're very very good you can make a small circle with just like your brush point but I'm not that good at that so I just used a nail dolling tool and then while that paint was still kind of wet I kind of pulled the sides of the circle and pulled it out so it can make like small triangle shapes and if I needed more paint I would get some more and then add that to it. And then do that for the whole round of fin. After painting all of your eggs, go ahead and like let them dry. These take a while to dry and I wouldn't rush letting them dry because you work so hard on them and you want to like savor the beauty of these eggs. And once they are dry, I would have put another layer of protective sealant, such as like that mattifying spray, but I didn't have it since I used a spray paint that was already white, so it ruined everything. But if I got the chance to, I would use a mattifying spray or like some Mod Podge to seal it. But I don't think it's totally required, it just has the design last longer. Then after that is done, you can go ahead and put the candy and give it out to your friends for Christmas. Or when I actually finished with this, my mom had mentioned that you could make them into ornaments and I was like, wow, mom, you're actually right because my eggs at least had like holes on the top. So you can go ahead and like thread a string in there and make it hang on your tree and it could be a cool present for you and just decorating your tree. But of course, you can go the easier route and give it out to your friends and just put candy in them. And with that, that is all for this DIY and I hope you liked it. I, when I thought of this idea, I was like, I'm gonna save this to Easter, but I was like, no, I gotta do it now. <laughs> Cause I actually have, I've been feeling very nostalgic this, this Christmas season. So I thought bring back an anime from middle school and elementary school. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked this video. So with that, if you tried this DIY or the many feature on this channel, be sure to use the hashtag IOADIYs on Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. And of course, if you have any questions, do not be afraid to ask. And with that, thank you so much you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye!